Once the opportunity arose for him to close the show, he did it in emphatic style. Whatever he hits, falls. We're in Mara Mid IFL TV MTK Global, joined by Sam Cox of uh, Power Day. Let's get that in. Get out of the way. <laughs> so, yeah, tell us a bit about that, that Power Day. Yeah, so obviously, between being a professional boxer, um, I work for Power Day, and the great thing that we've we've got here at Power Day is we've got a fa foundation that works with um, young kids in sport, mainly boxing, to be fair, um, and just uh, the community across London, really. Mm. So that, obviously your dad's involved with that, uh, yeah, and so his mates, right? Yeah, so my dad is um, one of the uh, managers here for the foundation and basically what, what he does is organise um, the main sponsorship for London ABA um, and finding funding for uh, boxing clubs across London. So. Sam, last time I caught up with you, um, yep. obviously there was tragic news uh, yep. about your mum. Um, I'm sure over time it's got better and better, but it must be so difficult still. How is everything? Um, I would uh, disagree with saying it gets better. I think, has, it, has it not? No, I think, I think what it is, I think you learn to live with it. Um, the, the, the thing is, uh, my sister hit the nail on the head and it's life will never be the same. It'll never be the same without her around. But um, I, I think I'm, I'm doing well, my training's g going great, I've got like an extra bit of motivation every day. We actually lost my nan as well um, this year, my Sorry mum's mum. Um, so yeah, I've had a lot to deal with, but I think, I think it's focused me in my life a little bit more, as in I know exactly what I want and where I want to be, and it, it's, it's kind of them little distractions of, for example, normally after my fights, I'll get fat, go out with my mates and have a drink and it's the first time that I've actually remained in camp still training still sparring got my lunch up there big healthy lunch so it's in there. yeah I'll have it I'll show you it's a, it's, a, it's a tuna salad so I'm not lying oh I thought it was going to be yeah. like a burger and chips yeah it looks <laughs> yeah, I wish it was but yeah no so the key is is to stay active stay ready um, and sort of push for them titles early next year so yeah I know what I want and where I want to be and I think that with, with my mum and my nan just keeps me keeps me on the straight and narrow and, and where I want just just having them as extra bit of motivation really so yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure you dedicated your win the other night to your mum and your nan definitely uh, 100% um, actually my sister phoned me um, my sister phoned me the, the day of the fight, which she never does. She'll never contact me or see me on the day of the fight. She waits till after the fight and then obviously... Why did she do that? She's just super, she never seen me on the day of the fight. She never really spoke to me on the phone. So she kind of just don't want to like be bad luck. So no, but she, why did she do that on that day? Oh, so she, she contacted me in the morning. She phoned <coughs> me and, she, and uh, she said, oh, she said, I've had the maddest dream. I was like, what? She's like, oh, she's like, oh. Uh, we were sitting around, me, you and my mum were on the on on her bed like talking as we used to do. Um and uh and um you you walked off, you went off somewhere and it was just me and mum and she literally said she turned around and said to my uh, it's making my hairs on my neck stand up. She said to my sister, Tell tell they call me Samuel. So uh yeah, just tell Samuel everything's going to be okay, like, everything's going to be okay and it was like repeated about four times. She, she phoned me in the morning like she had to tell me and like when I boxed, like it was a great, great six round, it was good, uh, good scrap to be fair, the geese, let's wait for that to pass, but um, yeah no, it was, a, it was a great scrap to be fair and it, at, at times it was, it was gritty in there. The guy just didn't want to go anywhere. He was he was strong as an ox. I hit him with a kitchen sink. He weren't going anywhere. And even when it got like tough and I was getting a bit tired, in my head I had it's going to be all right. I knew I was going to win just just from that from that. So yeah, no, it was good. Well, congratulations on it. And uh, thank you. Sure, it was a nice moment afterwards. Yeah. Um, your whole family were there. Yeah, had a whole family, a whole a whole a whole group of support. So my friends and family always always come out as support. Um, and it's it's a thing where we support each other. It's it's, it's one we all want everyone to do well. So they come out in the hundreds, really. So I can't I can't thank them enough. What's next for you? What's next for me is get out end of December, end of November, start of December, um, have obviously Christmas off, 
then you don't really get shows till sort of March time. Mm. So have a nice little warm up. I want the Southern area or English title by mm. sort of April, May time latest. Um, I think I'm good enough. There's no, there's no time to be uh, to wait and around. I'm 25 next year. I'll be 26. So if I can't win them domestic titles now, when when am I going to win them? So yeah. Fair enough. All right. Well, well done the other night, and uh, we look forward to. What happens next in your journey? I'm Definitely. sure we'll catch you well soon, alright Sam? Cheers very much. What's up man? Once the opportunity arose for him to close the show, he did it in emphatic style. Oh. Whatever he hits, falls.